So, I'm here to do uh, my first book haul. Um, <clears throat> feels like a bit of a rite of passage, I don't know. Um, I don't know why. But, um, so I went and I took out a bunch of cash and uh, I went to both the used bookstore here in town and to the Goodwill. Uh, and um, at the used bookstore, I ra ransacked their, uh, sh what Shakespeare they had. And, uh, and got a few others, and at the Goodwill, I was hoping to find something that wasn't there. Um, last time I was at the Goodwill in their book section, they actually, I wasn't expecting much from the Goodwill in terms of books, but they had, um, they had A People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn, uh, which is a book I sort of have had in my mind as something I need to read at some point. Um, and, uh, I didn't buy it because... I wasn't ready to have a book like that on my TBR, um, but I was hoping to find it today. And uh, but and and also I didn't buy it the first time because I figured, I, I kind of assumed I guess it's kind of cynical, but I assumed no one would be interested in buying it. Um, but it turns out someone was, so I guess I should just be happy that someone wanted to buy that. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh oh. Okay, come on. There we go. Um, all right. She's in a playful mood. Um, because I was gone for so long. Um, but, um, so I didn't get that, but I did get one other book that I didn't expect to find that I was really happy to find. Um, but I'm just gonna go through the Shakespeare first. Um, the first is Romeo and Juliet, um, which it was the first Shakespeare play I read, um, but, um, not for, not since I was 16, probably. Um, and I remember at the time just kind of making fun of it, um, so I'd like to kind of read it and give it a serious read. Um, and next is The Taming of the Shrew. Sorry, that's a bright cover. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's that. This also has, um, I think, like, footnotes and stuff, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, these, these editions I bought, they're all used, so, like, um, some of them have introductions, some of them don't, some of them have, like, weird, um, critical apparatus in the back, um, or, like, essays along with them. Yeah, like in this Romeo and Juliet, there's Romeo and Juliet, a modern perspective. Um, that might be interesting. Um, yeah, so I, I think I will probably give those some of those essays that are in here a read to... Um, here is Richard II, um, with a foreword by David ben Bevington. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, I actually don't know a lot about a lot of these Shakespeare plays. Well, I know I know a little bit of something about a lot of them, but um, but like Richard the Second, I honestly have no clue what happens, um, which I'm a bit ashamed of. But um, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm starting to read more Shakespeare. Um, next is three and one. We have Hamlet, Much Ado About Nothing, and Richard the uh, Third. Hamlet, I have read. I read it on my own, not in school. Um, and I liked it, um, uh, but I want to reread it because I think I kind of, I don't know, I feel like I sort of rushed through it and, uh, the first time, and I may also have skipped the ending part, which I don't know why I did, but I may have. Next is The Tempest, um, which is kind of in this weird, it has, like, a ton of essays, so it has, the play itself is only, like, the first, like, 60 pages, 80 pages here, and then the rest of it, all, all these essays, um, by, you know, scholars, and it seems like the cat is playing with a plastic bag, that's what, that's what that noise is, I'm sorry, um, and, uh, and they, they, the essays in here appear to be about, sort of, <clears throat> whether The Tempest was sort of a colonialist narrative, and different interpretations in that regard, and that doesn't sound too interesting <laughs> to me. Um, so I don't know if I'll read those, but, um, and finally we have these two Dover Thrift Editions which have no introduction or, or anything with them, but there is Othello, which I have read, and I actually wrote a paper about in my senior year of college, but I didn't do that well on, but, but still, Othello has had a special place in my heart in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, so, I have those. I think I'm gonna, I think after I film this video, I'm gonna go order Harold Bloom's book about Shakespeare, and, um, possibly, um, I think I'm gonna order King Lear, 
because there are some other plays that I wasn't able to find at the bookstore that I really want to read. So uh, King Lear, Macbeth I want to reread, um, Julius Caesar, Henry V, and maybe Antony and Cleopatra. Um, so that in all would be 14 plays by Shakespeare. Um, which seems like a good place to start, um, especially since I'm reading them along with uh, with Harold Bloom's book. Um, yeah, Curtis at Curtis Books and Films did sort of offer to do a, a buddy read. I, I want to say sort of because I don't want to say it in absolute just so he doesn't feel too obligated, but um, we haven't like sorted that out, but that I'm hoping will happen. Um, but anyway, um, so there's that. And then some other books I found at the used bookstore here. Um, the Annals of Imperial, Imperial Rome by Tacitus. Um, it's in this old Penguin Classics edition, um, which I often don't like because the font is tiny. Um, but but after reading Quintus Curtius Rufus, I, I was into these sort of Greek and Roman historians, and this just happened to be at the bookstore, and I couldn't resist. Um, next is uh, Dr. Faustus by Christopher Marlowe. Um, a book that we read parts of in my AP English class in high school. Um, we read like that famous um, uh, monologue by doc by uh, Dr. Faustus. Um, you know, the, he's looking at Helen and says, the fa "This is the face that lost a thousand. Sh that I can't talk. I'm sorry. A thousand ships." Um, so that um, and this also has a couple of essays at the back. And I think also a short biography of Christopher Marlowe. Um, so yeah, I'm, I think that's, that'll be fun. Um, and then finally, we oh no, not not the last one, but final final one from uh, that we use a bookstore is this um, this book, uh, Paradise Lost and uh, Selected Poetry and Prose by of John Milton. Um, this book I found. I saw it and I was like, I feel like if I try to like really read this, I will like, it will basically just fall into pieces. Uh, but it has Paradise Lost, it has Samson Agonistes, don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's another, those two are the big ones that I wanted to read by um, Milton. It also has the Lycidas, um, which I think I actually, I don't know if Harold, because I read Harold Bloom's anthology of the best poems in English language, and I know there's an there's a, an excerpt of the Lycidas in there, but I'm not sure it's the whole thing. Um, I can't remember now, but it's that. There's um, one of a, a prose, there are several prose works by him, but um, the one that I think uh, Jess at Garden Scriptorium mentioned as kind of the most, his most famous one, um, which I'm not sure I can pronounce, um, but it, Areopagitica. Um, I apologize if I have butchered that, um, which I'm sure I have. But yeah, so um, even though this is kind of falling apart, I couldn't resist. I think I'm going to try and see what I can do um, with some uh, packing tape with this, see if I can maybe um, kind of salvage it. If not, I will just kind of consider this on my TBR and re and find there are free ebooks of all of this. Um, in many places, so, um, like on iBooks and, and things. So, um, if, if I can't, um, kind of fix this up, I will just read things in ebooks. Um, and finally, we have what I got at, um, The Goodwill, which is this little, uh, collection of works by Dostoevsky. So, um, Notes from Underground is a book that I have wanted to read for a couple of years now, but for some reason I've just never gone around to picking up. Um, and then White Nights, which is a short story, The Dream of a Ridiculous Man, another short story, and then the Selections from The House of the Dead, which is a no another novel by Dostoevsky. Um, and it really annoys me when these sorts of things include a selection from a novel, rather than just the whole novel, um, because I would like to just read the whole novel. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I I'll read this and, um, I'll probably eventually try to pick up the the, uh, the House of the Dead uh, in its entirety. Um, I looked it up and it's not as long as others of Dostoevsky's work. It's like 250 pages-ish. So, um, but anyway, 
So this 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 is where I, this is what I found at the Goodwill, which was an unexpected surprise, a pleasant surprise. Um, but yeah, so that is that is everything. Um, I think these four um, for now are gonna be what I'm drawing from for a TBR because I'm not sure when the Shakespeare thing is gonna start. Um, so yeah, but for now I'm continuing with um, Thomas Wolfe. Look homeward, angel. And when I go to the Czech Republic, my, tri my trip to the Czech Republic, I th actually think I might um, reread a few nonfiction books. Um, anyway, that is a haul. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching, everyone. Goodbye.